No, 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 no. Your eyes aren't playing tricks on you. The thumbnail of this video, it's real. It actually happened because this movie made me its fucking bitch. Let's just review it. The quicker we do it, the quicker I don't have to think about it anymore. Fifty Shades Darker. So Fifty Shades Darker is the shitty sequel to the shitty Fifty Shades of Grey movie. In this movie, Christian and Anna, that's their names, fucking weird that I know that. They're not dating anymore because of the last movie they're not dating. And then uh, they run into each other and she's like, yeah, sure, I'll take you back, let's bang. Which makes her the biggest cinematic idiot ever. Maybe it's the biggest literary idiot ever, but that would imply that the book is literature. Rather than toilet paper is what it is. This guy exhibits all the serial killer as tendencies he ever did in the first one. He stalks her, he's creepy, he's controlling, not in like an endearing way. No, he's like, I forbid it. Okay, that's not weird. So now they're dating again. It's, that's what the movie's about. The movie's about them dating. It has to be because the movie's not about anything else. I really mean that. This movie, at a point I was like, it's still happening. This movie's still going on. The movie's just right about two hours long, on the nose. It feels like three. And that's a problem because this entire movie is on the shoulders of the relationship of the two people you do not give a shit about, nor do you care about their relationship. What are they doing? They're dating. Do you like them? No, I don't like them as people nor do I like their relationship because the relationship is dumb as shit. There's nothing enjoyable about it. And then they say ridiculous ass things like they, they've just fucked a couple times and she's like, I love you. You're like, hey, that's a, hmm, you guys just went there. It's been three days. And then things happen throughout the movie that don't actually affect the movie at all. Like you saw in the trailer, that girl just shows up and creeps her out. You know, the girl that looks like the girl from Rings? That happens. She shows up like once and then twice and then that's over. Did it do anything? No, it just did nothing. It's, it just happened. Right down to the bottom, this, is, this happens in the movie. I swear to God, I'm not even making this up. He has to go in his helicopter and go in a meeting somewhere in Portland, Oregon. So he gets into his helicopter. He's flying, the helicopter goes down. He's missing for about two minutes. It's on the news and she's like, oh my gosh. And her friends are like, we'll find him, I swear. And then the news is like, hey, he's been found. And that moment he walks in like, hey, what I miss? And it did nothing. It did nothing for the plot. It did nothing for the movie. It did nothing for the story. It did nothing for the characters. It had any gracious bone in their body whatsoever, they would have cut that part out, made the movie about five minutes shorter. I'll take all I can get, five minutes would have meant the world to me. Then there's this creep boss that she has, and this dude goes from zero to creepy in no time. When he blocks her in the door, he's like, huh, does he fuck you how you want? <laughs> like, I'm okay. It's so cartoony, and that would stand out more. I almost forgot to talk about it. It would stand out more if everyone in this movie wasn't cartoony. But everyone is. It's almost like somebody wrote Twilight fan fiction on their Blackberry. Wait, that's exactly how this shit happened. This movie's actually, I'm not even joking around with you because I mean, I want to be objective. I was going into this movie when it was starting and I was like, okay, be objective. Don't just say it's dog shit because you want it to be dog shit. See the truth. See the movie for what it is. It's fucking worse than I thought it would be. I'm not even joking you. It is is horrendous. Watching this movie is like getting ass raped with Katana's sword, yeah, from Suicide Squad, because it is painful in ways you don't even want to think about and it steals a part of your soul. The movie's literally the plot is these people just date and fuck. And by fuck, I mean not even interesting fuck. Hi, mom. I, I, my mom watches my videos. <laughs> That's awkward. Not once again, we have some nice love making and such. Once again, Fifty Shades Darker is like Fifty Shades of Grey in that it's like the blockbuster days on the top shelf of blockbuster video. You had those rated R porns. They didn't show you the goods, but at least those ones attempted to make a plot. Fifty Shades Darker is like those top shelf blockbuster movies with less of a plot and less sex. Acting's about on par though. When I got home and I was turning on my lights here to do my video, setting up my camera, I felt like I was setting up a kill room in Dexter. Let's just murder this thing and get it over with. You knew it was gonna happen. I knew it was gonna happen when I got out of it. Somewhere when I sat down in the movie theater to watch this movie, Agatha the precog was like, murder. Cause she knew. Guys, in the end, this movie was painful. It wasn't just ridiculous and nonsensical, it was Boring as shit. It was humorous when it tried to be serious and boring when it tried to be sexy. I walked out of here truly baffled. The only fun part is talking shit when we all walked out of the movie. Everybody, I mean, all the studio reps are around. We're all just talking mad shit about the movie. We're like, they know. Yeah, Fifty Shades Darker is not just dog shit. It's dog shit squared. You have two very enjoyable movies opening at theaters this weekend, neither of which is Fifty Shades Darker. Come on, do a solid. Let's stop these things from happening. All right, guys, so Fifty Shades Darker don't see it ever. So, Lego Movie, have you seen it yet? What did you think about it? Or John Wick 2, how rad was that? Whatever you think of those, comment below, let me know. If you want an applicable movie, what's the most long, boring, drawn out, ass, painfully shitty movie you have seen lately? Whatever it is, whatever you think, comment below, let me know. And as always, if you like what you've seen here and you want to see more, click right here to see more.